Greetings and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be giving you guys a breakdown of the latest changes that are now live on the playtest server. If you don't have the playtest server and you have a copy of PUBG, you can go to the Xbox store and download it for free. It doesn't cost anything. You can download it and you can check out these changes for yourself. So the first and the largest change is the addition of a new currency and it's called G-Coin. This in-game currency will have to be bought with real money. So instead of buying the crates themselves, you buy the currency and then you use the currency to buy the items. And it's not just crates, you can also get um, event passes, which I'll detail in a minute here. So the reason I think they're doing it this way is because of gambling issues. Other games have been getting banned because buying loot crates is being considered gambling in certain countries and a way around that is to make an in-game currency so you buy the currency and then you buy the crate with that currency. For whatever reason this loophole works so I think PUBG is starting off with it so that they don't face those issues right away. In addition to G-Coin they are also changing up the way that they're doing crate purchasing with BP, which is the currency that we already have in the game. So instead of the BP increasing uh, each time you buy a crate, they're gonna have set prices so you always know what the price of the crate is, which I think is a great improvement uh, so that it doesn't limit you as much to how many crates you can get in a week. Also, they're adding a preview option so you can go to the crates that you think you want to buy, you can preview, you can see all the items in there, and then if that crate has an item that you've been going for, you can focus on just buying that crate. Right now on the playtest server, all the crates are a thousand BP except for the new weapon skin crate, which is the raider crate. I'm not sure if these are the prices that are going to stick or not. But if they are, that's great news because a thousand BP for a crate is much better than what we were seeing before with the constant increases. They have said, however, in the update notes that the rates at which certain items dropped have been changed. And I don't know if that's for better or for worse. Since the crates are cheaper, it might be that we're gonna see a lot more common items. Hopefully it's the other way around because if you're like me, you've gotten the same polo 13,000 times and it's just not very fun uh, to keep getting the same items over and over. So I hope they reversed it and the change is for the better and that we're gonna be seeing more of the rare items pop up a little bit more. Now let's talk about the event pass. This is gonna be a $10 purchasable item that is going to allow you to unlock certain cosmetics by completing challenges and earning XP in the game for a certain period of time. The details for the challenges haven't been revealed yet, but if it's similar to what we've seen on PC already, it's going to essentially be kill this player in this place with this item. All of the items that you get during this event will be permanent, but the amount of time you have to complete the challenges and earn the items is going to be limited to whatever the dates of the event are. We have a lot of exciting changes happening here. Some are free, some are paid. Let me know down in the comments how you guys feel about these updates, and I'll see you guys in the next video.